And we're live. Mm-hmm. Maybe, but I have no idea. Tom's here. So let's see here. I got to get all this set up here again. What's my monitor's resolution again? 1920 by 1080. This resolution doesn't go that high. Why don't we try the highest one and see what it looks like. Oh, it's a little cut off on the bottom. Let's try it again. By 1024. It still seems cut off, doesn't it? We don't want it cut off. Actually, I need to hide the taskbar on the other display. I think. No, that's the main display. I, actually, I, I think it goes over top of the taskbar. I think it is. I wasn't paying attention. Let's try 1600 by 900. Better. Just give me a second to change this from infested to prologue. There we go. Oh, yeah, spin the wheel. That's right. What can't you see? The game's not moving, is it? It's just sitting still. Why is that? If I click start, yeah, it's still not showing up on this screen. Let me just remove this and try it again. Might have to do a window capture instead of a game source. Game captures... I always have trouble with game capture. How's that? There we go. I gotta put it my below my webcam. There we go. All right, let's spin the wheel. Let me let me open this back up. I had shut it down. I'm going to shut the game off for a minute so we can just uh, hear myself talk here. Let's see, do I got to bring up another window capture? Uh, uh, looks like I do. No, it's right there. 
There we go. Okay. So we have three movies left on this list, which is Chasing Ghosts, a great documentary, Rend of the Nerds, and Real Genius. Then after this, we can move on to the new list. Uh, Gamesar is not here, unfortunately. He's usually here when I spin the wheel. I'll, I'll give him a quick message real quick, though. I'll give him one minute, and if he doesn't show up in one minute, we will spin the wheel. It looks like he's not paying attention to Facebook at the moment. I wonder if he puts his phone on mute or something. Actually, I don't even know if he has a phone. <laughs> So I went into the options of this thing, and I slowed down the wheel. Actually, I have it in dark mode, so I can't even see anything. There are some options, but I don't remember where I found them at. Maybe it's up here. Settings. I put the uh, the spinning uh, level at one. I kept the spinning duration as default. I left everything else as default. There's all kinds of things you can do. You can change the confetti and sound. You can change this. You can change that. But yeah, I didn't uh, mess with anything except for the spin behavior. Okay, games are is here, so we will spin the wheel. And let's hope for the best. So it does spin slower now, but it's going to be more dramatic because of it. Here we go. Chasing ghosts. <laughs> it's going to be the last one. It's going to be the last pick. I think it is. George is getting upset! Yeah. <laughs> it's a great movie, though. It's a great, great movie, though. All right, let's try this game out and see what we have. Everything look good? Yeah, it looks okay, I guess, yeah. Hopefully, I heard there's two versions of the movie. One without all the cool music. One with all the cool, mu cool music. So hope the one you find has all the cool, cool music. Like, uh, like Montrose. Towards the beginning of the movie. 
starts a new list with the King of Kong. We already watched the King of Kong. I'm afraid you missed that one. I'm afraid. I'm sorry to say. Deep within the recesses of the Bradford Library, Professor Crawford Tillengast, anthropologist, was immersed in archaic tomes and lo I'm long so neglected records searching for a specific line of scientific inquiry. His investigations eventually uncovered a thread for further scrutiny. The subject was a seldom mentioned and consistently obscured medieval village. From brief mentions in ancient tomes, he ascertained it was a place enlivened, the, uh, uh, enlivened, enlivened maybe, with the exchange of ideas, populated with practitioners that experimented and the power of channeled thought. Descriptions of grand ceremonies, the bizarre temple, and inter interactions with unearthly beings filled the professor with both exuberance and trepidation. After further research and endless lambasting from his colleagues, he mounts a one-man expedition into the winter of 1910. I've only seen the version of Chasing Ghosts that has the music. You'll know it in particular after the after the beginning part of the movie, when they show like the beginning credits and all the people that are going to be in the movie. Uh, that's when you hear the Montrose song. December 29th, 1910. With a hefty pull, the brake lever engages and your motor car shudders to a stop. You kill the engine and step out of the vehicle. If your calculations are correct, you should be making a career establishing discovery forthwith. about I'm afraid that the uh, the new list Tom is already filled with quite a lot of movies so many movies that they all can't fit on the wheel so we can only start with like the first like 15 I think and then if more than after we watch one I'll replace it with another movie and keep it full Heavy Metal, Transformers. I could add those. Excuse me. Uh, um. Let me do that now while I think about it. Movie list two. Transformers. And what was the other one? Heavy Metal. Yes, I do have merch. The current list already has 24 movies on it. I think we can only put 15 in the wheel. So we can only add the first 15, and then after we each every time a movie gets picked, I'll keep adding a new movie to it from the bottom half of it. When that time comes. That's cool, man. That's cool. Your motor car sits cooling after a long drive. 
Open? I opened it. What is that? It's your field bag. To thank you, almost forgot it. Matches? Compass? Sheathed knife? Light hacket? Dried meat? Pistol? Hip flask? 120 proof? <laughs> Rope and lantern. Are we gonna get drunk in this one? The crunch of crisp snow under your foot, sting of piercing winter air. You adjust your scarf and head into the woods. Winter's cold breath blows th the trees. Small clumps of snow shed from the trail branches right from the long overgrown ancient trade route that lies before you. Is that how I move? Is with these directions here? Do <laughs> drink it, drink the flask. I'm not sure if we should use it yet. There might be a specific reason to use it. I'm gonna save it first. Uh, use it. How? There's no, like, use it on myself option. Take, open. The other game had, like, you use something on yourself. Yeah, maybe. You follow the deer tracks. They lead to a small clearing. You hear the cries of wolves in the distance. In this area, you see a series of paw prints trailing off in every direction. A thicket of briar is to the right, blocking the entrance to the forest canopy. Aha! You hack your way through the briar, clearing a trail. I can't just click on the trail, though. I guess we gotta go forward. You exit the twisted wood of the tree line and stand at a cliff's edge. To the west, you see the remains of a watchtower. Below, you see a sprawling ruins with a dark spire standing ominously in the center. A bloody deer carcass lies steaming in the snow in front of you. This deer has been brutalized and its hindquarters ripped away. The body lies streaming, steaming in the snow. Heat is still rising from the fresh kill. Can I take it? I don't need it. Can I open the deer? <laughs> Looks like there's no direction to go forward, so... I guess we gotta go... Ugh. Reaching the end of the trail, you stand in front of the mountain's edge. A two-story tower with a terrace stands next to a switch back trail. A wolf stands between you and the tower. You take aim and fire your pistol. Winter has just begun. It was a mercy killing. Not a tauntaun? <laughs> the wolf lies dead. Its steaming blood paints the snow red. 
Why is everything steaming? An old barrel sits next to the tower. Can we open it? Can we take it? Don't need it. Fortunately, the bottom section of the rope has rotted away. It frays and rips and falls from bearing your weight. This renders the first climbable portion of the rope just out of reach. Well, we have rope. Maybe you need a way to uh, put the rope over there. But nothing else I don't think would work. How do I tie the rope on? The howl and wind and, w and wolves fill the air as you approach the narrow switchback trail that leads down to the mountainside. Looks like a storm is brewing. Your lungs burn and ears chill with the frigid breeze. We didn't go this way, so when we go this way. Oh, that just leads here? So I know I went here. Oh, you find yourself at a cave entrance. With a low guttural growl, the wolf steps out from a nearby bush. The wolf drops dead. There is a rumbling sound over, overheard, overhead. You see a mountain of debris and snow come crashing down, blocking the entrance to the cavern. Uh, how would I deal with that? A hatchet? I don't think a hatchet is for rocks. Maybe use the, the hip flask? No. Compass, knife, dried meat. See, there's not really nothing to use here for this. There is no way you are digging through all of that. Lovely. Is this what's steaming as well? A nod and brittle femur. Wolf flies dead. It's steaming. Blood paints the snow red. Everything's steaming around here. Hey, Pierre. Oh, there's stuff here. Hold on. It's the deer's missing... Appendage. Freshly severed. Let's take it. You take the deer's leg. Oh boy. Suddenly the deer's eyes open. Oh boy. It springs to life. Bawling. Frothing blood and kicking wildly. You barely dodge its flailing limbs as it thrashes itself over the cliff's edge.
Is that something there? I can't see. I can't see it. A dark spire stands ominously. Okay, it's just the village. So whatever this is, I can't take it. Because I don't know what it is. I don't need it. The deer's blood trails off the cliff's edge. So what am I going to do with this deer leg? wonder if I should have used that to lure the other wolf or something. wonder if I messed up. Am I soft-locked? Our geek, what's up? PC again. Except unlike the other one that was free, this one costs a couple dollars. It didn't cost much though. Oh, we found something. Treading down the switchback, the wind kicks up. One unfortunate misstep later, the edge of the trail gives way. Is this my character here? You plummet to the ground below. White fades to black. Your head throbs and your body aches. You cough, blink, and when light hits your eyes, a new burning white sensation greets them. The shapeless white blur slowly comes into focus and forms a snow-covered field. You lay at the bottom of the mountain. The trail has partially avalanched behind you, and your bag is missing. Lovely. It's your field bag. Well, I'll take it. Taking a quick inventory, it appears that you have lost several pieces of gear. Oops, I didn't read all that. We lost gear in the bag. In the distance, you can see a roaming, a roam road leading to what looks like a farmhouse. Plodding through the snow, you can see that the farm has been abandoned for ages. The roof has collapsed the northern half of the building. The barn has partially collapsed. Its front door hangs off its hinges, threatening to fall with each blow of the frigid wind. Three ramshackle single room wood dwellings stand near the frozen field. Snow drifts have engulfed the back of the shacks in a sweeping mound. The roof's bow under the weight of the snow. You stand at a cobblestone road intersection. Four homes lay smashed pile debris from large mounds in the center of each foundation. Hail! Solutions! Salutations! And well met, fellow person. I've been watching ye. Ye need not flee or panic. I be here to converse well, in essence, if not practice. Do stop backing away and flailing. There be nowhere to run, and no need of it. I do hope ye comprehend me. My vernacular may well be dated. This is creepy. Worry not, I will adjust as we get to know each other. When ye be better adjusted, Team ready, I'll stop by another or visit chat. Alrighty. We didn't finish investigating over there. Your strides towards the two-story building made of thick stone blocks with smashed lead light windows. A fallen sign is engraved with a stein sprouting three stalks of wheat. 
Traditional image identifies this building as a tavern. I don't need it. Appears to have been broken. I don't feel like reading all this one this time. Deep black stains sully the hole beneath. The tavern windows appear to be have been broken from the outside. The lead work bows inward and most of its glass missing. Can we go in? The tavern looks like a war zone. The furniture is splintered or wedged against the entry doors and windows. The stairs have been completely destroyed. Lovely. A stained cleaning bucket awkwardly sticks, sticks to the stair. Probably don't need that. We took the bucket. What about this pentagram? Drawn of blood is the star with a flame inside of it. A skeleton hangs in a noose from the rafters. Drawn in blood is a star with a flame inside of it. Directly before the hang skeleton. Can we take the skeleton? You cannot reach it. It is far too high. So we came in here just for a bucket? We came in there just for a bucket. A whitewashed stone cottage sits weathered and decayed. One wall has collapsed, leaving the interior exposed to the snow and scarring wind. The trail steadily wends its way? Is that a word, wends? North passing a series of dead trees. The path ends at the mountain base. You see the exterior of a mine. The brakes on the mining cart are engaged. Further upon further inspections, you see that the cart is mounted in guided gra grails and the brake lever is missing. Tree head fruits. Ah. I can't look at it. The apple is too high to reach. Can't get it yet. Can we do anything here? I don't need it. <laughs> Rickety remains of a small loom. The mine entrance has collapsed. It is covered with snow and debris. A dilapidated shed roof has caved in and the structure is filled to the top with snow. The corral gate is broken open. Aged goat bones lay scattered across the pen's turf. The bones that cover the pen are mostly unremarkable. However, one skeleton remains complete and undisturbed. Something metallic dangles from its neck. 
The amulet lays in your hand. It feels incredibly warm. Your hair stands on end. You slip it in your coat pocket for safekeeping. <laughs> ah, you have uncovered an item that will shift your par parent par par I don't know how to pronounce that. Par parad par paradigm. Well, this is well. This will enable you to explore the hidden aspects of the world and others. This new insight comes with a risk. As you can see the creatures, the creatures can also see you. Just as in your everyday world, these creatures come in all forms and temperance. Beware, there are predators. Okay, spooky, isn't he? What appears as a small hill of snow takes shape as you approach. Waddle and daub walls. Built upon a foundation of stacked rock and held together with fine iron pegging. The small cottage has held up well over the years despite half it being buried in snow. Breaking through the crunchy snow. You start working the heavy, long, unused door open. With the scrape of wood and clanking iron, you make it inside the dry, dusty cottage. Is this the Necronomicon? A counter with a series of small iron cages located in the back of the cottage. It looks like a book to me. Don't need it. Don't need it. So many things in this game we don't need. Paradigm. I think I've heard that word. It is a work table covered with a variety of bowls, plates, and contraptions. Can we take something? I don't need it. Use a book. I wonder if it is a book. <laughs> How we open the cages? Is this another door over here? It is a work table. No. Only wants to look at that. How about if I go higher up? It is a work table. So they can go forward. Oh, that's what I had to go forward. Heading to the back of the room, you approach the long, narrow table supporting the two empty cages. Beside the cages is a small rectangular stand with an empty star shaped hole in the middle. A book and a candle. Ooh, five symbols surround an image of a star with a flame inside of it. Ancient language that you are unfamiliar with fills the rest of the page. The opposite page features a symbol that resembles a branch. We took the book. It's a candle on a candlestick. At the moment, I have no use for this. Two iron cages are equipped with small pin locks easily opened from the outside. You open the cage door to retrieve the amulet. 
A sharp sting. You jerk your hand out of the enclosure. Looking down, there are bloody stumps where your fingers were. Screaming, you stumble back. Your consciousness fragments from the pain of something gnawing through your face. What the hell? How was I supposed to- Oops! Okay, there, I did the right thing. Do I gotta go all the way back here? There's no, like, autosave? Oh man, I, I should've been saving more often. Crap. You wouldn't open it if I was... Yeah, well, things happen. What's one to do? We did this already. Chat delay. Yeah, there is a chat delay. This is even before I even did this. I wonder if I can give the wolf the deer leg. Oh, I can! Aha! So I messed something up last time. I, w I wanted to redo that. You cautiously enter the cavern. The climate is cold and damp. Walking in 20 feet further, the air growls. Unfortunately dry. The chamber opens, revealing an abandoned mining audit. A mother wolf stands guard over a litter of pups. You are in a wolf den. You see an ancient skeleton sitting next to you. It wears armor with a chest crest on his chest. His severed arm lies at the feet of a short sword. Probably can't grab this stuff with these wolves here. I, I don't know if I want to kill them or not. Because the pups will probably kill me. Reach down to pick up the short sword, but freeze as the mother wolf lowers her gaze and prepares to pounce. I'm gonna try to kill the wolf, but it seems like the wrong thing to do. It reverberates throughout the cavern. Breaking the bulb. We are dead. Yeah. Looks like meat back on the menu, boy! We are dead. Dried meat? We can try dried meat. Mother Wolf picks up the offering and disappears into a dark corner of the cave with her pups. Dried meat! Yeah, feed the babies, yeah. I don't need it. Wasn't there something on him, though? I don't want the armor? Okay, I guess we just needed the, uh, sword. So I guess, I don't know if this sword is important or not, but you can potentially miss it.
<laughs> yeah, woo -woo, miss. Thanks, you. Isn't that something that you can actually miss that? I don't even know if I can do the rope thing right now, you know? Because we have rope, but how do I use it? Maybe I can't do it yet. Can't use a knife on it. Can I just attach the rope to this rope? Cyclops. Don't tell me about no spoilers now. <laughs> so I don't think I can do anything with anything here. For this rope. Nothing makes sense. Not unless you can use... something with something else in the inventory. So I guess we can't do nothing there, probably. There we go, now we're falling. I didn't see nothing. Uh, without spoiling anything, should I reload? Or should I not reload? But maybe I missed something nearby. Because I'm not observant enough. I guess I could reload anyway, just to make sure on it. Did we already go in here? We already did this. See, so yeah, this looks like something right here, but there's nothing there. Almost looks like logs or something, but it doesn't say that it's anything. I don't think there was nothing else in here. I don't think I can take the bones. I can take a bone. A femur bone. And I can't take his arm. Can I take his head? 
<laughs> How about his armor? I want his armor. Use rope on rock. Oh, uh, we don't have a rock. Where was there a rock at? There's a barrel. The Browning FN model 1903 was lent by a colleague. It is self-loading, semi-automatic pistol, convenient for an amateur gunner like myself. So you can't really do nothing with it. You can't really examine it for bullets. <clears throat> oh, what's this right here? Is that something? The trail leads down to the bottom of the va valley. No, that's just stuff in the valley, on the trail, I guess. Why can't I just tie the rope to the rope? Why isn't it just that simple? Well, there is. Because last time I did this, I did it wrong. I shot the second wolf. And that collapsed the cave, so I couldn't go inside the cave. And I couldn't get the sword that was in the cave. So this time, since I reloaded, I'm able to get the... I wonder if I messed this up as well. I wonder if I shouldn't have broke that yet. But then we'd have to start all the way from the beginning of the game, I think. What if I was supposed to tie the rope before I broke the rope? That's a possibility. Use barrel. You drag the barrel underneath the rope. Oh! Well, now. That's a one step closer. But I still wonder if we used... I can use my map. How do I use my map? Oh, there's... Climbing onto the barrel, you manage to again grasp the rope. Heavy heave-ho and an upsy-daisy... Upsy-daisy. <laughs> Later, you're up on the terrace. Aha! Now on the Watchtower Terrace, you notice a frozen over trap door and an empty brazier next to you. Where is the door? I bet I can light the brazier on fire. With matches, maybe. Do I need anything else besides matches? Lantern. Better, I better keep doing save saves just in case. The fire pit sits empty. So I'd have to put something in the fire pit. But we don't really have anything that burns. Unless a bone burns, but that doesn't burn. The lantern in there? That would make sense, either. The rope in there? Ropes, ropes might burn.
Open the barrel from down below. We did that already. That's where I got something out of it, I think. Unless I didn't open it the second time around. You know, because I reloaded, didn't I? You know, I did open it once, but I wonder if that was before. No, I can't open it now. I don't remember now if I opened it a second time. We missed the sticks. I bet since I moved the barrel... I can't open it now. Well, I don't want to miss out on anything in this game. We're starting over. I guess I'll we'll just start over from the beginning. How do I go back? Do I just gotta quit out? Quit out. I don't want to miss out on anything. We're starting over. Sorry. We'll get through it quickly. We're only right here anyway, so... I know I opened the barrel before. I know I did. Maybe I had to look in the barrel. An open barrel. Maybe I just gotta take it. Don't need it. So I think I just reloaded for no reason. Now I can't do nothing with the barrel. Oh, because I haven't done the rope yet. I think I can... you think I can just reload? Yeah. You think there's some sticks I missed somewhere? Where did I miss sticks? These sticks, I can't take them. Unless I need to use my hatchet on them. I don't mind hints. I just don't want, like, uh, full-out answers right away sometimes. I like to do a few guesses first before I get a quick answer. But a little little spoilers don't bother me that bad. I'm not like strict on it right now. Where are these sticks at? That you you remember Captain Beyond? You think it was these sticks? Because you can't take them, unfortunately. There are too many to carry. It'd be better to bind them together. Oh, bind them together! Oh, the rope! 
The rope! I missed that part of it. The rope! Aha! Aha! I missed that part of the sentence there. I didn't see it for some reason. The wood is too damp from the snow. You'll need an accelerant. Uh... Maybe the hip flask 120 proof? Wood is now soaked with alcohol. There we go. The flash of flame, the brazier is ablaze. The surrounding frost melts. Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Who's just joining us? So, wasn't there a door here somewhere? The trap door has no handle, but there is a small notch to insert a pry. Do I have anything that would be a pry? A sword? The hatchet? Or the knife? The sword slides into the notch, and you pry the trap door open. Nice. Which one is it? Is it this one? Yes. Landing in the dark, musty watchman's quarters, you lay fresh footprints on a residence that has been undisturbed for millennia. It is so dark, you can hardly see anything. Maybe I would need to use my lantern. Aha! The book is a station roster. The last log entry shows two men, Aldith and Edward, signing out of the watchtower. A ladder. That could be useful. Can we take it? Sturdy wooden ladder. Probably too big to take. Nope, not too big to take. The barrels are decrepit and empty. The window shutters are closed, blocking out the midday sun. Can we open them? Aha! You open the window, allowing light to spill into the room. Probably could have just done that, too. Dusty, lumpy, and cold, the cots do not look comfortable. I hope we have enough lamp oil. Doesn't seem we have. The rupees to buy more. <laughs> I never played the uh, CDI Zelda games. But I've seen the memes. We want candles? We attempt to pry the wax off the table and soon realize it's not worth the effort. Okay, we're in here. We didn't think about a way out. Uh-oh. There's no direction here. In the watchtower, the roster's last log. Okay, we already read all that.
ladder. There you go, ladder slides into the latch on the trapdoor's ledge. Now you can climb up back to the terrace. Oh, you're talking about the CDI games? I see boots. You saw boots? Oh, those things? Are those boots? Heavy worn leather boots are overgrown with fungus. We probably don't want them. Nope, we took them. We took fungus boots. <laughs> Do I want to use fungus boots? How do I use things on myself? I don't have like an avatar to click on. Mildew. They are coated with grime and a fine fungal powder. <laughs> Mushroom boots. Maybe we'll use them eventually. Now we can fall down. So we did all- you did a lot of this already, so we're catching up, guys. Cause I- I kinda... I died, and then I didn't- I didn't have a save for a long time. So we need to... Uh, catch up to where we were. So I'm gonna be skipping a lot of text. Thank you, Tom! For the five gifted memberships. Hey, Sky Winners, who's here right now, got one. I mean, that weirdo's gonna come through here soon, too. I didn't see this earlier either. The structure appears on the verge of total collapse. You crouch and stick your head in. While the barn has partially collapsed, the numerous joists and stalls are st stabilizing the roof and walls that appear structurally sound enough for a quick peek. The floor is filled with farming equipment, sacks and barrels. In the corner skirting a row of stalls sits a pile of clutter. Variety of heavy furniture, farm equipment, and random items form a haphazard mound. You notice that some items seem completely out of place in a barn. Whoop, we got the pitchfork. The mound makes no sense. The items randomly, yeah. It's not after considering why fine furniture and working farm equipment would be heaped together with rocks and detritus, you realize that one aspect they share. You conclude that their heavy weight is only common, the only common feature. Rolling up your sleeves, you've been separating the items. Oh, wow. After clearing the clutter, you discover a thick wooden hatch door secured with a Sturdy lock, a yellowed note, is tacked to the door. Yeah. Good time to save. Because if I open that and I die, that's not good either. You pluck the note from a nail, scanning the... Vellum? Vellum? What's a vellum? You find a warning. Danger! Do not open! 
you turn the note over and find that this side is enumerated bill of sale. The header reads, Mr. Frederick Mercer bought of Foreman Brothers and Brown Dealers and all types of grain, flour, oops, I, I actually clicked. Well, I'm going to save it again. We're going to open it. Because even if it's a death, I like to see the deaths. The deaths are fun. The hatch door will not open. It is secured and closed with a sturdy lock. Which, which part is the lock? Is this the lock? So we probably can't even get in there right now anyway, because we don't have a key. And I don't think we're going to do anything with that stuff. Opening the lid, you peer inside and find a barrel that holds ancient grains. Astoundingly, it looks like it could have been deposited yesterday. Uh-oh. The mix seems to be an animal feed. The barrel is mostly empty, but a coarse powder lines the bottom appears to be some sort of flower and plenty of dust. This unpleasant combination causes you to erupt in a volley of sneezes. Now we're gonna die <laughs> of a disease. I want in there just for the death. But I also want to reload to get the pitchfork back. Just because. We did this already. But I don't know if there was anything for me to do here, though. There's nothing to look at, really. You can't really go forward. I don't think I can take anything. I just know when I came this way last time, it's when something happened. The dude came in, into the uh, situation. There he is. So we did this already. Do you also do Spectacle? The musician that did Infested also made Spectacle soundtrack. We, I did Infested, but I didn't do Spectacle. Is Spectacle free? How is that spamming? Whistles sound through the many holes where the planks and shingles have long since given up their perches on the walls and roof. He was trying to hide it. Hide it? Well, we'll just add it to the playthrough. No reason to hide it. Inside a barn is a collection of barrels, trays, and bones. Everything is covered in a light dusting of snow. A plow lays next to the sidewall with an assortment of old mining equipment. Is 
It's in the severed arm of a small man. His sleeve is still attached. There are no indications of a blade being used. This location is present in all major joints. Well, we'll get to it. Can I take the arm? I do not need it. I wrecked minecart and heaps of scattered ore. Can I take the ore? Amongst the scattered of ore, you have discovered a lever. It probably broke off the destroyed cart. We have a lever now. So did I come in here just for a lever? I don't know yet. Broken barrels filled with nondescript detritus sit in the corner against the wall. It appears they have been smashed when the wall was breached. Looks like something burst through the wall. Something big. The fissure and walls are coated in black mucoid material. Black Souls 1 and 2. Nice. Well, well maybe uh, next week Monday or Tuesday, I'll play this game that you mentioned. Hopefully it's free, because I don't want to spend any money. <laughs> in the hole in the wall wasn't indicative enough of the power exerted by some unknown apparatus or entity, the powdered spine and neck bones of this poor horse would be. After examining the long dead nag, I can only hypothesized that it was no machinery that wrought this destruction. The horse's head was manually severed from its body through the application of force to its upper vertebrae and neck. Poor creature. You don't need it. There is an axe there, isn't there? Is that an axe? Pickaxe. A cart loaded with ports is at the back wall next to a small office. The simple wooden door to the office is closed. Window shuttered. The door bow bows, but does not give. It's barred from the inside. You wield your pickaxe and batter the door down. Now this may be too soon, but alas, we... May not have the luxury of an extended acclamation. You have noticed a series of horrific incidents occurred in this town. I have continued to observe your explorations and found that you are an astute fellow. Gathering evidence and cataloging locations for only get you so far. Man, this guy's creepy. So is that the game right there? I'll open it up in a browser window. So I don't forget to look at it later. Ah, it is free. It is downloaded already to my computer. Nice. I can help you uncover the truth. 
it is a visceral, in a more visceral manner. What did I just see there? It's not there now. Is that the Cthulhu? Cthulhu coming to get me? Inside the small office, you see a skeleton sitting in a wooden chair at a desk. It faces the window. The skeleton's right arm is missing. Keys! Tentacles, yeah. The bloodstained letter appears to be an inventory of the month's harvest. It descends into desperate scribbling. Moving the page into the light, you can decipher more of the ink despite the bloodstains. Bright purple light creeping. John ran to fetch the priest. Symbols not working. The beast. Barnes wall. All the silver in the world can't save me. Oh, man. There is a leather belt clinched just above the empty socket where hence the arm was ripped. Can we take this? Or did we already take it? Oh, we just took it. I see it missing. The leather belt is discolored, saturated with old blood stains. Key ring. Okay, yeah, okay. Key ring. Now, where was that other place I was? No, it wasn't here. But, but we, we got to go back there, too, though. Oh, we saw something else we didn't see before. Choir fiber. Eat the belt. I'm trying to find where that latch was. I want to do that. You found a note. It reads... To the untried, unpunctual, and rather vexing apprentice of mine, John, I see that you are late again, probably with that Juliana girl. I am leaving the alchemist's order for you to fill. This is a test. The mold sits ready on the workbench. You know what to do. A small basket of coal, six next to the stone forge. This is water. Barrel of murky water. A bellows in perfect working order. A pot of some sort, looks like. It's a crucible to hold metallic, it, metallic ingots for melting. A small wood slat. Casting flask, sand insulation, clay mold. What can I take? Don't need it. Oh, I see something else. Ooh, what is that? Tongs. We took the tongs. A pair of heavy duty blacksmith tongs. Probably don't need the bellows, but we'll see. Don't need it. What about this? We took that. Probably can't take any... Oh, we took that, too. We took coal. I wonder if we're supposed to make something here. Maybe not.
I don't want to do that yet. I want to find what I... What I missed before. No, we didn't do this before either, but that's not what I want. I want to go back. What is it that I missed? Where is it? Where is it? There it is. This could be bad, but I want I want bad. I want bad. We do have moldy boots. <laughs> is this game NES or Z64 Amiga again? <laughs> you know what this is. It's PC, buddy. This is going to be a death. I know it. You climb down a creaky ladder and alight into a dank unlit... So Subterranean space. You wave your hands, attempting to find a wall, but only stir the air. Standing still, you hear a faint dripping sound coming from somewhere in front of you. As you focus on the acoustics, a cold, putrid wind blows across your face. A second blow stirs your hair and makes your skin crawl. You turn your left ear towards the presumed local locale of the drips and assumed source of the wind. Only to now hear an abrupt, gurgling noise remind you of how hungry you are. We no longer have the lantern. Did I make a big mistake by using the lantern in that room? when I could have opened the window. Oh, man. You know, that makes me want to start over. It pains me to do so. You are determined to explore the space. Arms outstretched, hands seeking surfaces like antennae. You cautiously step forward. Your toe hits a dense object, and you take a big step up and over, hoping to avoid it. Two layers of brittle objects crack and pop as your foot lands. You try to com compensating for your now encased foot, but lose traction and it lands on an option object that rolls beneath it. You pitch forward and land hard. Sitting up, you you feel down. Oh, you feel okay. I thought that was an error. You feel down around your ankle, ankle, hoping to free it. Your fingers travel on a series of dry ridges with grooves connected at the bottom by closer bands and furrows. Then your fingers brush against an item. Crumpled and soft, you put it in your pocket, working your hand around your ankle. You snap the odd protrusions and straighten in a jolt. Suddenly you have a terrible idea what you landed on. Scooting away, you move your hand 
up the object until you hit a smooth round surface. <laughs> Your hands move down and glides over two holes. Further yet, and yes, teeth! You jump to your feet in a panic. The sound of shuffling movements are in front of you, and they are getting closer. You exhale a deep sigh. Shivering, you feel as though you just escaped a harrowing experience. Though the tumble you had in the darkness was irksome. To your knowledge, no real threat was present. After a final shudder, you crawl the crumpled object you pocketed. You unfold a vel velium and carefully smooth the creases. Agnes, you know how the disappearance of Hardy vexed me so. This is weird writing. I searched the town, the woods, even climbed the watchtower for a new perspective. But in the end, I need not look any further than your own land. The first inkling came when the you you I was holding for Webster went missing from the latched barn. But today I confirmed my suspicions for, for I heard the most feared lowing coming from the place. Upon entering I was met by a ghastly sight. No sign of the big steer hard nose but a trail of blood leading from his stall to the cellar door. The cellar I dare not enter. Then I did tell little Milo, or Milo, he was never to enter the barn. I sent him to town on a task so I could plan with no distractions and no need of worry. My ponderings reveal the horrible truth. If it can prey on st steer, then a man is no challenge. A reliable worker, a good friend I know all along that Godwin was no shrieker. This but confirms it in the most devastating manner. Godwin's disappearance was no design of his own. There would be something wicked in the root cellar. I still want to know, could I have used the lantern down there? Could I have seen the monster? It's going to bother me now. Okay. Then we're okay then. You stopped me from... You did stop me from, uh... We did this already. You did stop me from uh, starting a new playthrough. <laughs> Can't remember if there was something here to take, because I already did a this. We went through the window. I came in here, I don't remember what I grabbed. We did this already. Did I take this? I don't remember. Yeah, we took that. Look at the pentagram. You know, I don't think they call it a pentagram. Isn't a pentagram upside down? I don't remember. Can't do nothing with the skeleton. There's nothing else to do in here. As far as I can tell. Most of the furniture has been broken or wedged against the door and windows. Probably can't use the... Pickaxe or anything on that. An axe would be really better. We don't have an axe. Probably nothing else to do here. Yeah, <laughs> it's crazy, isn't it? It's pretty wild. It's 
Was there... There was something else too, though, but what was it? We did that. I saw something new this last time, but where was it? it wasn't there. I saw something new that I didn't do the first time. There's this. I wonder if I can get the apple now. Maybe we'll use the tongs. No. We can get up closer, though. We did this already. I can't remember being able to take anything here, though. Or to do anything here. Android? You mean I have to play it on my phone? Yuck. The lever is missing. Don't we have a le lever? Aha! Oh, so we can do something here. Aha! We didn't have that last time. Ooh. But let's not go that way just yet. We st There's still something back here I wanted to do. I don't remember where it was at. Oh my lord. I didn't see that before either. <laughs> I, I don't know if I can, I don't think the clo closing something is a, an option. Snow that lands upon the spire melts immediately. You feel warm, warmth radiating, radiating from it. Oh boy. You feel around the door, but fail to find any handle. <laughs> yeah. Hello, little person. I have enjoyed pursuing your brain. I shall endeavor to know you even better and soon. What a jolly era of you, you existence. You, you existence in? The technology is charming, quite quaint. As you have been such a generous host, I shall grant you a boon in kind. My gifts may be considered overly grand, even magnam magnanimous. But the response can be overwrought. Do you like this tower? They worship me as a deity after construction. You may have gathered that. This... Monere? I don't know how to pronounce that. Is a anor, anachronic, anor, anachronistic architecture. Anomaly. And these are tough words for me here. Consider the structure as a tuning fork or battery jar for particular specific energies. It was purely practical from my standpoint. Truly a gift that cut both ways. Do keep guard of your corporal form. We will need it. Man, that guy is weird. I don't know if we can get in there just yet. I do think I missed something back here, but which direction? Okay, that goes there. But this one, we did this. But this one, that one. That's what we didn't do. But I do gotta take a quick bathroom break. I'll be back in less than a minute.
Got a series suggest to him when he gets back? Cursed Trilogy. I don't think so. Two empty wooden stands sit under the arcades. Arcades? They had arcade machines back then? <laughs> what arcades? Is there Pac-Man in there? Donkey Kong? What do we got? Not the right kind of arcades? A barrel hangs on a rusted chain above the wide entrance. You climb the burnt, ooze-smeared stairs. The central hall is a scorched disaster. Furniture is flipped and demolished. The back door is charred and collapsing. Galaga. <laughs> Boards groan and split every time you near the entryway. A dented cooking cauldron lays tipped over on his side, resting before a fallen cabinet. This half of the room is charred beyond recognition. The floor is riddled with holes. There is a broken oil lantern near, near the fireplace. Don't need it. I shan't be needing this. The fireplace stonework is damaged. It seems as if something large slammed into it. A small dowry chest sits next to a broken window. It's locked. Can't use the key on that. The trilogy of games by the, the name of Cursed from 1 to 3. Quality gets better later into the trilogy. I can look into it for a later date. But it'll probably be a while. The floor gives way. Did I just die? When did I save last? Dang it. We just found a death. I was here. Coal belt. We don't have the lever anymore, so we did that already. Grape jelly spice. What, was there anything I missed that I didn't get this time that I need to get again? I don't think there was anything even in here, was there? I wasn't able to take anything from here, was I? This whole place, I think, was pointless. There's nothing there. Did I go in here already? Yeah, we already did this, okay. So I guess I did- I saved really close to here, then. I 
got all this stuff already. get the corpse. Mm hmm I forgot about this. Did I redo this already? I don't know if I redid this or not. I think there was something to take, wasn't there? Yeah, okay, I didn't redo this when I uh, died last time. So we did this before. And then, and then he comes up. We did this part already. Okay, we didn't do this yet. We'll, we'll get back to the bar, though. We didn't do this. So, I don't know if we did this before. I can't remember if we did this before. The first time around. Oh, we did do this before. This is where I died. So, don't <laughs> open the cage this time. But we will take the book, though. So don't open the cage. Unless we want to die another gruesome death. Oh, now we can get belt closer to the table, okay. A dome top still sits on the work table. A collecting channel leads from the dome into a spout, which empties into a receiver. My experiment was a success. I cannot wait to share it with others. My speculations were correct. These creatures are not our own imaginations projected, but rather they naturally exist all around us unseen. We need only part the veil that separates ourselves from their world. Through my observations, I discovered that they are as... Hair... Hair... I can't pronounce that word properly. And diverse as our own natural world. Some sup graze on vegetation. While others feast on the flesh of their fellows. I have many more tests to undertake. My experiments are awaiting the blacksmith's deliver of my frame. Looks like a small jewelry box. Let's open it up. Ooh. A small velvet line box inside what looks like a lens, but it isn't glass. Higher archical. That's an empty ceramic jar. Do we do we want the ceramic jar? Yes, we do. It's a small pile of lead ingots. Do we want the lead ingots? Yes, we do. <laughs> I don't know if we're going to use half this stuff. There's a series of tubes and glasses, ve glass vessels. Oops, I didn't read all that. Let's use ancient distillate process. Okay. Probably can't take that. It's too big. Don't need it. The fire steel. Flint and steel used for starting fires. That looks useful.
I wonder if we have to make something here. I don't know yet. Not sure if it's, that game's gonna be this intricate. That you have to make a potion or something. Where was the bar at? There it is. I may have something to knock him down. The pistol would shoot him down. Tongs, coal, land, star amulet, bucket. I don't know if I want to waste my bullet on uh, shooting that though. Tom again with the gift subs. Thank you, Tom, Tom, Tom. Well, the pitchfork just falls apart no matter what I do. King's Quest? Yeah. I haven't played that, but that I wouldn't doubt it, though. I don't know. They might be able to know the answer to that. I'll try the knife. You still can't quite grip the noose. You'll have to get a bit higher. Aha. Hopefully we didn't need that pickaxe. It looks like it was going to fall apart no matter when I used it. Still have to get a bit higher. Uh, do I still got the sword? I had to use the sword to open that one thing. I think it used it up. It took it away from me. Because you, you lose all that stuff when you fall down the hill. The sword was when we fell down the hill. And you lose everything except for like your pistol, the knife, and one other item. And the notes. I'll try anything. <laughs> the book would give me height. If the book won't give me height, I don't think notes would do anything. The bucket makes a lot of sense. Standing on top of the bucket, putting it on the table. Belt. Pickaxe. Make sure they're gonna do it higher. Maybe I just don't have the item yet.
Yeah, we tried the crucible. Unless I didn't use it high enough. Well, how do I get up higher? We need something else to stand on. Is there something I didn't pick up, you think? Yeah, I just have to click on the skeleton, not really the rope. Nothing else here makes any, any sense. And I don't think the pistol is the right thing to use either. We'll have to come back here. We're, we're missing something. But what, I don't know yet. See, that looks like something you'd need, but... Fallen sign. And I think I tried to take it and it wouldn't let me. Don't need it. Can I get in the door? Probably the pickaxe won't help, but we'll try. So we did this, right? Was, was there anything else in here I missed? Oh, we didn't even come in here. Oh, oh. I didn't come in here yet. Maybe there's something in here. Red Bull. <laughs> Back from eating. Yeah, I had to restart again, yeah. But... We're already back to where we were, though. We're going forward now. You find the cart. It must have derailed after smashing its way through the debris that blocked the entrance. Is that lever still here? Do we need it again? Can we take the light? Don't need it. Anything else here to take? Don't need it. Forward we go. The tunnel forks left and right. The rail continues down the right side and looks damp. The left side is dark. Let's go to the light side first. The tunnel ends abruptly at the small pool. It's still going to bother me that I used the lantern earlier, and I wonder if I needed it for something else. gonna bother me the whole game now. The shallow pool is discolored by a variety of mineral deposit. Beyond the pool, the tunnel has collapsed. So there's nothing to do here. I don't think nothing here would do any good for anything. Unless you want to throw something in the pool of sludge. The bucket on the sludge? You dip your bucket into the shallow pool. So now we have a bucket of sludge, huh? Bucket of water. Yummy. You don't think so? Because they did make it that if you shoot the second wolf, you can't get inside the cave to get the sword. And if you can't get the sword, then you can't go on top of the... Uh, Climb the rope and go in and pry the thing open to get in there.
So there's a whole bunch of things at the beginning you can miss by shooting that second wolf like I did the first time. You turn left to go around a bend. It is dark in here. So dark you cannot distinguish a thing. The only light originates from an opening at the other end of the tunnel. <laughs> Good thing we saved just recently. Is this before I use the bucket or after I use the bucket? Before I use the bucket. The bone could have also been used to make the wolf go away, huh? And I used the deer leg. And I used the dried meat. So there's like nothing else here to do then. As far as I can tell. You're probably going to tell me I missed something. can't even look at the apple. But you can't try to take it, though. It's just too high to reach. wonder if we need the apple. Probably not. That's okay. No big deal. I don't know about the deaths. Don't know if we need this apple for anything. Might just be a, a red herring. see here. What do we have here? My inventory. No. No star amulet? Amulet? He did this again. He already, he already came to me for this, didn't he? He said this already. Did I die before? Or, or does he do this every time I try to open it? I wonder if it's every time. Maybe not. Maybe I didn't save. Maybe I need to redo something. Book. Pickaxe. I don't think I have what it takes to get in here yet. The bucket of water. Thank you. 
That's back here again. That's back there again. That's back there again. I'm thinking. Give me time to think. We're back in here again. I want to make sure I didn't miss nothing. I want that arm. Give me the arm. Uh, I never did nothing here, but I don't think I can go anywhere there. There's nothing to do here. As far as I can tell. You can't go forward. There's nothing to open. Everything's already open. There's nothing to take. I think that door is closed again. I'm in the dark again. Can't use fire steel. Man, I wish I had that lantern. So, am I currently stuck? Do I have to make any kind of potion at the alchemy thing? Oh wait, I know like this takes me back here. Wish I could take this torch here.
bucket of water. That's gross water. Now I have a jar with water too. Hopefully that's also not a bad thing. Maybe that I have a bucket of water and a jar of water. Maybe I used that on the skeleton. I don't know. You know, that makes no sense at all. Nothing at all makes any sense. At the moment. Can't go forward. Can't take the torch. Don't need it. Did I miss anything in here? The death. Maybe I should read the alchemy note again. We read this already, didn't we? The blacksmith's delivery of my frame. Is there a frame that we missed back at the blacksmith shop? get back to the blacksmith shop. Is it right here? No, that's where we die. That's another death trap. This wasn't- this was not the blacksmith shop. Uh, which direction am I not clicking on? That's not the blacksmith shop. Cause it was an anvil at the blacksmith shop. Which direction am I missing? There it is. Was there a frame or something here? A crucible. I just picked up the crucible. Tell me there's a crucible when I already picked up the crucible?
I wonder if I should have used the bucket of water here instead. Might have been better quality water. Oh, was I not here before? I may not have been here before. The straw bed sits against the wall across from a simple desk and a cold fireplace. Let's go back outside, though. Is that something? There is an axe wedged in a splitting stump. We just took the axe. Did we see anything at all where an axe could have helped? Maybe the axe or the skeleton. The final journey journal entry reads, the flock will be channeling once again, focusing their thoughts will summon from the other spirits of the divine. How blessed I am having been chosen by the angel. How much I have learned. We will beget miracles and prove to the non-believers that our claims are not a product of enfeebled. Ask a question. <laughs> Minds or mania. But now I face a predicament. I have mislaid the sacred symbol. The other day, I may have glimpsed it hanging from the neck of a goat. We found that. It must have been one of the children up to hijinks, hijinks again. No matter, now I can open the doors without it. Thanks to Divine. An old quill sits on the desk. The barbs are ragged from handling. Do we want to take the quill? We took the quill. A large wooden wardrobe sits in the back of the room with a blood trail leading right to it. Let's save the game. Let's open the wardrobe. Aha! Uh -huh. Skeleton of a man lies on the floor of the barren wardrobe. You surmise that he sustained crushed cervical vertebrae and fatal lacerations to his chest. The remnants of his shirt and vest bloodied and torn. Searching its pockets, you retrieve a folded piece of Valium. It reads, Vade Mechum. Light the fire, blow the coals, melt the ore, pour into the mold, cool the mold, break the mold. Where do we do this at? Can we do it here? Stone fireplace sits empty. Let me re re read that again. Light the fire. Blow the coals. We don't have bellows, though, to blow the coals. I wonder if we have to do that back at the anvil. Melt the ore. Pour into the mold. Cool the mold. Break the mold. We lit the fire. No, that's a different fire. We, we can't go back there. That was before we fell down the hill. Let me see if we use it here. 
Don't use that here. It's impossible to go back up the hill. We gotta figure out where we're supposed to do that. But now let's see if we can uh, get that skeleton. Use X. You still can't quite grip the noose. You'll have to get a bit higher. We're still missing something else to stand on. Maybe we need to break this stuff up with the axe. Nope. Maybe we gotta use the axe on something. This here? Aha! I didn't see that. Well, I'll be darned. We're gonna use the knife, though, if we can, instead of the axe. You know, it might not matter which one we use. You look around and see a slaughterhouse. Horrors everywhere. Piles of rotten human flesh. The smell stings your nostrils. You cut the rope. You hear an inhuman scream, scream as the skeleton falls to the floor. You blink and the room returns to normal. The skeleton lays in front of the table. I would have never seen that little itty bitty stool. I would have never seen that. <laughs> Man, I would have never seen that. Is there anything to take? You remove the noose from the skeleton's neck and search its pockets. You find a note. It reads, Arrived in town. Nothing left. Everyone was dead. Cold, hungry. I cannot make it back to the mountain. Forgive me, Edward. All death. <laughs> I suppose so. Now I need to figure out how to start the fire, blow the coals, and do all this stuff. Maybe we do it here. There's like a big opening here. Unless I put it... Somewhere else. In the bucket? No. On the anvil? No. I think the crucial is something else, but we'll look at it, what it says there. Where's the crucial at? Crucible. Can, can, can I look at it? Did I click on the right thing? The crude clay crucible sits ready for ingots. Oh. Where do we put it? There? Oh, we put it there. Okay. So 
Oh, let's see, do we put the fire steel there? No. What about the coals? Where's the coals? Coal. Nope, don't put the coal there either. We gotta figure out the right order here. Maybe it's the ingots. Crucible is now filled with metal. Okay, so where do we put the coals at? We need coals, don't we? Or, or maybe we'll use we'll try the fire steel first. No. What is this thing? Maybe we'll put them in over here. Small wood slat casting flask, sand insulation, clay mold. Coal doesn't go there. You're welcome to guess, Tom. Since you don't know the answer. We can guess the, the, the correct order to do things in. Where do I put everything. Oh, I put it in the back instead of on it. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. I was clicking on the crucible. I needed to put it behind it. Aha. Uh -huh. Now let's try to use the fire steel on the coal. The fire steel sparks, but it's not enough to ignite the coal. So... If only we had... The other stuff from earlier, but that was before we fell down and lost everything. So we may not have had it anyway. Uh, you wouldn't want water. Axe. Quill. What else? How would we start the fire? What are we missing? We're missing a way to... We're missing something else. I don't think a quill would do anything. Paper? Noose? Noose would burn. Nope. A note. Nope. I wonder if I should use the bucket to get fire. Oh, I don't think we could have carried it around with us, though. Use a journal. Maybe a lens. No? We have tongs, but I don't think we need to use them yet. Use the blacksmith's note. So, what am I missing then? What do you think? You think I need to get fire somehow? 
Or do am I missing an item or do I have all the items? There's nothing else. Shoot it with with a pistol. Let's save the game. <laughs> We don't have nothing else on me that would start a fire. We tried the fire steel again, but it'll probably say the same thing. Combine it with the lens? No. I don't think you can combine things in this game. If we had some wood from a tree. I guess we have to look around some more then. Can't use the axe on that. Can't take that. I guess we can look around uh, things that I may have missed. We need the apple. <laughs> You approach the sickly apple tree, axe in hand, your feet firmly planted, you whip the axe back and swing with all your might. With a steady series of successive swings, you chip away at the trunk. The tree trunk split, then topples after a powerful final chop. Well, we can take the apple now. Can we take some wood? There are too many to carry. It would be better to bind them together first. Can I use the noose for that? Yes! Maybe that's what we were missing. Bundle of sticks. The fire steel sparks and ignites the wood. Seconds later, the coal begins to glow. So what's the order here? Whose note was it? This is a note here, I think. Oh, it's to look at it, look at it. Light the fire. 
Blow the coal. So we gotta blow the coals next with the thing. Then melt the ore. And pour into the mold. Where is the mold? Is the mold that bucket over there? Or one of those two buckets? Cool the mold. Break the mold. You work the bellows, stoking the coals. The fire burns hotter than ever. So we gotta... Gotta put, you gotta mold it now. I sure hope it wasn't one of these jars <laughs> that I filled with water. Ah. Uh, can't use it. I can't like. It's it's not something you can use. Maybe I need the tongs. Use the tongs to pick up that. No. That would have made a lot of sense. Pick. Use the tongs. Or maybe I use the tongs. Use the tongs on this. No? Try it, try it again. You hold the molten metal. Okay, I, I didn't click on it right. At arm's length, you need to pour it into something. Where will you pour it? Or do I have it on me? You pour the metal into the mold. The clay crucible starts to crumble after you tip it, but you still have your tongs. So now we pour it in the water to cool it, I think. Let's save it to make sure. You dunk the mold into the barrel. The water sizzles. You pull out the mold and break it apart on the anvil. Revealed is a circular frame atop a star-shaped rod. Circular frame. It is a metal hoop with a beveled inner rim attached to a star shaped rod. Should we take this to the alchemy lab? Where was that at? Wasn't in here, was it? No, that was this. Not there either. I don't know if we need the alchemy lab or not. It's not inside there. Okay, that's just that again. 
That's just that. Maybe it's in here. What do I do with the frame? You don't do that. Maybe we use it on the uh, thing outside. No. It's not just that simple. Not that simple. Do we put something in the frame? I don't think I don't think you can just combine items right here. I think you'd have to put it down somewhere to combine things. I don't think you can combine things in your inventory. Like the other game. So, I am a little lost at the moment. Can't set it down there. Can't set it there. He's got to do an experiment with the frame, but where do I put the frame? There's not a door here, is there? Second cage? Can I actually get to the second cage? I don't think there's nothing in that one. Unless I can put the frame in the cage, but what would that... That would make any sense. I was wondering if I could open it and throw the apple in there. That's not a something either. <laughs> it's 
like a hamburger. Looks like a snake to me. Coiled up snake. So... If I can't do this, I don't know what else to do. I don't think there's nothing else to take here. I don't know if I can use these. I don't know if I have anything to use it with. I wish I knew if I could combine things, but I don't think you can. See, when you click on use something and then you click on this, it just clicks off of it. Sorry, I'm not. Can't just use that there. Can't just use the frame. Use the apple. <laughs> Maybe we should look at the apple. The red apple is edible, but not delectable in appearance. Well, hmm. What do you think? What piece of this am I missing? What did we... Did we investigate enough in the mine? Is there anything here to take? Don't need it. Don't need it. I'll take a hint now. So I'm guessing I probably won't finish this game today because it's already 9.22 and I usually only stream to about See, I wish we had the lantern or something, but I don't know if we could have used it here or not. Actually, the place that I used the lantern at was before we fell down the hill. So more than likely, we would not have had the lantern here. It probably would have lost our inventory anyway. So I'm probably thinking incorrectly about the lantern.
I think it's fun. I wouldn't be playing it if it wasn't fun. Trust me. If I think a game is not fun, I'm not going to play it long. I want to move on to something else. This game is fun, I just haven't figured everything out yet. For some reason, I really thought we'd be using this alchemy set, but I don't know if there's a way to use it. Had an amulet in it? You sure? Because you, you as soon as you open it, you die. You don't even get a chance to uh, have a have a, a decision to make. You sure that's an amulet? You see a shiny object sitting in the center of the cage. Maybe we need this amulet, huh? Can't use that. I'll have to use the belt to get it through the cage. No. Well, I opened that one, but I, I thought nothing happened. I opened it. Nothing released. Let's see if we die again now. Yeah, we still died. No, I meant to load. Okay, we're okay. <laughs> so we opened that thing, but nothing came out. Maybe the apple will lure something out. Use the apple. No. If I didn't use the apple correctly, and click on the right spot. Okay. We managed to light the candle. The candle's lit. Okay. So we have a lit candle. Not the lens. So we got one part of it done. Did you use the candle? No.
Maybe I have to set it in front of it. What if I'm missing an item? That's the frame. I tried it a couple times already. Unless I'm clicking in the wrong spot. There it goes. I had to put it in the right spot. The candle might line up with the empty loop. But I still don't see the creature. can't move the candle so I guess it's lined up unless I unless I have to move it but I already used use maybe we can just try the apple now something in the frame ah oh, maybe the amulet Not the amulet. The amulet would have made the most sense because the amulet is round. The lens. Also round. I would have never figured this out. I would have been here ages trying to figure this out. We would have been here days trying to me trying to figure this out. Creature just sits. It looks lethargic. Maybe it's hungry. I thought you told me I didn't need the a the apple. <laughs> You, you told me earlier the apple wasn't important. The floating purple creature blubs and quickly eats the apple. It swims out of the cage and hovers in front of you. It is kind of cute. It is pretty cute for a gelatinous invertebrate. It seems friendly. I guess we'll open the other one now. Aha, it took off with that one. You hold the amulet in your hand. It feels chilled. The surface features an engraving of a small tree branch. We're in OT by three minutes. How much of the game is left, do you think? Are we halfway done? Or a quarter of the way done? Or three quarters of the way done? That would answer my question on what I'm willing to do right now. Have another hour. Riding down the path, you halt, starting to see a wolf standing in front of you. The ruined house. The wolf growls and stares at you hungrily. You better not make any sudden moves. Oh, I'm just gonna watch. V. 
That is one of the creatures I warned you about. I suggest you run. What was that? Heed me, ape. The abominable horror floating above you will devour you. Soul and all, run! Is this a boss? Might be safe now. I want to see if he kills me. We have to see all the deaths. Ah, your eyes ripped upward, your legs lock, warmth trickles down your trousers, an enormous, ever-changing organism reaches out with numerous tendrils. Its countless eyes stare into yours. The undulating body is covered with many hungry moths. You cannot move, you cannot think, your voice catches in your throat. All you can do is stare as the drooling mouths draw ever closer. I think we'll call it there. <laughs> Much better. <laughs> romance novel. <laughs> so when will I play this again? So Wednesdays are usually always in television days, so tomorrow will be an in television day. We are in the middle of a playthrough of alternate reality, the dungeon. And I wouldn't have mind playing in that Thursday, but I could return to this on Thursday. Then save alternate reality for Saturday. What do you what would you guys rather see on Thursday? This or alternate reality? You guys choose and don't be afraid to choose. game show night again? Let's wait till next week for that. Because we're in the middle of too many games now. We need to make people happy with the games that I'm currently playing. We'll do an NES day like maybe next week. How about that? I should have an extra day next week because we don't have a movie night next week, so... You pick this one? That's good enough for me. I think that's what we'll do Thursday then, unless anybody else has any objections. And I think I'm just gonna say that. Defeat this one. Okay, that's two. That's all I need. So I'll see you guys tomorrow for some Intellivision. I don't know what game we're playing yet. But we'll play some in television. I don't know if I'm going to pick a set, certain game or just play whatever. We'll see. So I'll see you guys tomorrow. Good night, everybody.